Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Leica Distribution KN95 face mask. We purchased these from Amazon. These KN95s are made in China and they are a non-medical five layer face mask. They come in a box of 50 for $19.95. The listing also has a 4.5 out of 5 rating with over 19,000 reviews. So these seem to be very popular on Amazon. Let's go ahead and take a look at these masks before we run them through our TSI machine. They come in just one big bag. So let's just take one of these out. They are a little bit on the thicker side. And let's take a look at the nose wire. It's a pretty standard nose wire. It's not too flimsy. And let's take a look at the straps. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph a new one. And I'm going to flatten out the nose wire. And try this on just for a quick reference to see how they fit on my face. So the nose wire, it's not strong enough to actually hold its shape. I am definitely getting a lot of leakage and I am getting quite a bit of collapse. I would say these are more of a medium fit because although they do fit my face, th there is still some room and it's a little loose on me, but nothing too crazy. But like I am, like I did say, I am getting quite a bit of leakage throughout the face mask. So I just do feel the mask is a little loose on me. But with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these tests on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample had a filtration efficiency percentage of 99.97% and a pressure drop of 15.7 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration efficiency percentage of 99.79% and a pressure drop of 18.1 millimeters of water. The last sample had a filtration efficiency percentage of 99.80 with a pressure drop of 21.04 millimeters of water. So we're back now and as you guys saw from the test results, these masks are doing a good job at filtering out the fine particulate matter, but unfortunately these are hitting right under that threshold of K95 pressure drop, which is 21.41 millimeters of water. And although these masks are a good deal when it comes to the price and they are filtering out the fine particulate matter, you are sacrificing the breathability. Overall, there is definitely better and more breathable K95s. We have tested several like the BNX, which had a pressure drop of right under seven millimeters of water. You can take a look at all the masks that we've tested so far on our website, which is acumen.com. And I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next, or if you would like to send in a mask or respirator, we're gonna be leaving our address in the description box down below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.